All right, Professor Project team, here we are. The first week of the Open, we made it. Uh, February 26th, March 3rd. Good luck this Friday. So I am doing the Open announcement. I'm gonna be traveling. Uh, I'm going to uh, make sure I squeeze in the time to type up a open workout, a uh, little, you know, kind of warm up and strategy notes um, as quickly as I can. Once my actual announcement is done, um, I will have something for you. The plan is to have it here on, uh, you know, to, for you to do it on Friday, right? So you do Friday night lights, whether that's in the, I've got it scheduled in the morning. That's what I'm going to, that's when I usually do it, Friday mornings myself. And so I'm scheduling it for Friday morning, um, trying to keep Thursdays for the essentials and for Fikowski training, you know, pretty basic, right? Getting some zone two, getting some skill work, keep the body moving, keep progressing, but nothing crazy. Again, if, if you really want to have a great open, then maybe scaling some of these days back, um, you know, the, the Tuesday, Wednesday, because it's only three weeks in previous years when it was five, you got to be careful about doing too much of that because by the fifth week, you can lose a lot of fitness. If every week you're like, oh, I don't want to get sore. Oh, I don't want to do too much of that. Oh, I don't want my legs to be tired. Then before you know it, you haven't really trained in five weeks. <laughs> you've done like one hard workout a week for five weeks and everything else you've kind of dilly dallying. But with three weeks and really only, you know, kind of two weeks, if you kind of think about it from the, if you do it on Friday, another Friday, another Friday, that's only, um, you know, 14 days. So but look after yourself, right? Make sure you're feeling good because you don't know what the workout's gonna be, right? Think, oh, what if it's the two or three movements that, um, you know, maybe I've been having a like a back issue. What if it's deadlifts? Like, make sure you're feeling good. So adjust as needed, especially on that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday leading up to it. Um, like I said, I'm going to, you know, give you some warm ups and cool downs. I uh, probably won't have time to make a video. Um, I might try to whip something together really quick, but watch the open announcement. I'm sure after the workout, they'll say, Brad, how did it go? And I'll, uh, I'll give some advice. And this is a fun time as well, you know, to, to scour the internet for tips, right? Um, obviously I'm going to try and give you the best possible tips, but I'm not going to think of everything in that first few hours after a workout's announced. You can go to, you know, whether it's CrossFit Invictus or the Outlaw Way or, you know, CrossFit Mayhem or Proven or Comp Train or whatever. I mean, I know they're the enemy uh, <laughs> as far as they sell programming, but they're going to have great ideas. Um, Wad Prep, you know, they're going to have ideas on, you know, warming up and cooling down and strategy notes. And, you know, they're going to think of things that I wouldn't have thought of, right? Um, especially because I'm I'm in my realm and I am I know what I think I need to do to get a good score, but it's not necessarily going to be the exact same strategy that you need to do. So anyway, enjoy training this week, have some fun with the Open, um, but keep it in perspective. And so for me, you know, my goal is, uh, is, is still a few months away. So, you know, I just want to do well enough in Open to make it through quarters and then really be, you know, at my best in semis in the games. And so, you know, remember like, what is my fitness goal? And don't let the open, uh, if you are doing the open workout, well, we're all doing it because it's in the program, but uh, you know, if it's not as important to you, don't let it uh, take away from your training too much, but that's up to you, right? If it is important to you, then hell yeah, you know, take, take Thursday a little easier, you know, you can scale down what I've gotten here. Um, make sure you're feeling great for that Friday and uh, have some fun with it, right? Do your best. Um, usually in open workouts, it's always best to start a little slower than you think you should. Break it up a little more than you think you should. Hopefully some of these workouts have been giving you, you know, options and opportunity to kind of see where you're at and feel it where you're at. Um, yeah, uh, one of the skill work pieces this week, uh, I've been trying to mix it up myself. I've been working mostly on Gymnastic skills, like I said in there, I'm you know working on my backwards roll to support and support to handstand on the parallettes. Um, but uh, trying to get in some more skill work in like some other things that aren't necessarily as gymnastics-y. So you've got like the deck squats. I was going to put in a jumps. Um, a jumps is when you have like a, a ballistic block, like a cinder block between your legs, and you might hold a kettlebell or hold dumbbells. You do a full squat, and then as you're launching up, you do a jumping squat, and then you land your feet on the the box and you stand up. I couldn't find a good video for it, um, but I did a few of those myself. So if you want to look back, um, we did those in Dubai in 2019. I think they did them again in 2022 in a chipper, um, kind of similar to the deck squat, like a kind of weird squat variation that can be loaded. Um, but yeah, burpee box, get overs, opportunity to practice stepping up, dropping down, maybe stepping down, 
you know, how can you, can you jump onto the box with your right foot? Can you jump onto the box with your left foot? Can you do a little spin move? Can you kick the leg through? Can you scoot the legs through the hands? Can you be in a little low squat? You know, um, so there's like a bunch of different ways you can, you know, scoot yourself over a large box. And even if it's, even if you just have boxes at your gym, um, like 30 inch boxes, uh, just use those, right? But basically instead of doing a burpee box jump over where the only thing that's allowed to touch is your feet, allow yourself to use your hands, go to your, go onto your knees, maybe, you know, roll onto your butt and do a little slide over, right? Just kind of have some fun with it, practice some different techniques and you might learn something that'll help, help when you just go back to a normal burpee. Um, and then the plyo push-ups, um, I did these where I, the video here is of Marcus Philly. I did them where I landed with my hands locked out, but also I kind of hop my feet onto plates as well. So be careful, make sure the plates aren't going to slide out and you're not going to break your nose on the ground. Uh, but a fun little way uh, to, you know, work on some dynamic pressing and then it should tire you out a little bit for the burpee. So it'll make you focus on stepping up that foot. As soon as you press out, you can watch the video there of Froning. He drops down and then as he presses with his arms into the push up, he sneaks his, uh, I think it's his left leg up. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of everything I wanted to go over. Uh, yeah, enjoy the week of training, enjoy the open. I'm going to enjoy my trip and, uh, I'll catch you all on the flip side. And then for the next two weeks of the open, I will, um, make sure I have like a little quick little video. If there's any, um, technical cues, especially if there's like a new movement or little ideas I have, if it's like burby box jump overs. I'm like, hey, remember, this is the best way to do a burby box jump. But this week, I am going to be a little busy. So cheer me on. Uh, go to YouTube and watch. <laughs> and uh, but I, you know, watch the video. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm going to make sure I make the time to, to get a warm up. Um, and just some basic strategy notes all typed up. That's it. Enjoy your week of training. Brent Pikowski out.